Uh, we're honoring three individuals with the U.S.-Japan Council's Lifetime Achievement Award. And what this award does, it, it honors those individuals who have played a key role in advancing U.S.-Japan relations, advancing the engagement of Japanese Americans, and advancing the mission of the U.S.-Japan Council. Now, it comes really at a, a good time, because when you think about what happened, transpired in the news just this past week, we heard about a Japanese-American researcher teaming up with two Japanese researchers to win the Nobel Prize for Physics. Japanese and Japanese-Americans working together. Our first recipient does just that, works with Japanese and Jap gets uh, Japanese-American researchers together with Americans and Japanese. Our first recipient is Dr. Paul Ichiro Terasaki, chair of the Terasaki Foundation. Now we're going to first show you a short video illustrating his illustrious career and his philanthropic efforts. Um, but before that, uh, but uh, right after the video, we'll get some personal remarks about Dr. Terasaki from Thomas Eno. Tom, as you know, is the chair of the U.S.-Japan Council. He's also chair of Pacific uh, Commerce Bank. And Tom is a proud graduate of UCLA, a real Bruin. So it's only fitting that he be the one to present the award to another proud Bruin, <laughs> who is not only a graduate, also a professor, and a big benefactor of that famous campus in Westwood, and a benefactor of the U.S.-Japan Council as well. Now Tom, by the way, I alluded to this earlier today, but Tom and we fellow board members gathered at his office, at Dr. Tenasaki's office in Los Angeles when we founded the U.S.-Japan Council. And at this point, as a journalist, I'm bound by the rules of disclosure. So I'll disclose that Dr. Tenasaki is my uncle. <laughs> and yes, I'm very proud of him. And no, I was not on the wards committee. <laughs> but I'm sure he would have won anyway. Anyway, please enjoy the video. And after that, you'll hear some remarks from Tom Eno. this disaster happened. First, I wanted to do something, so I had uh, donated the $200,000. And subsequently, I went to Ishinomaki to see if I could find some opportunities for students in the U.S. to uh, volunteer in Japan. Crazy you could see like the tree line where like the water was. The moment I saw what happened with the tsunami, I knew I had to do something. And I wanted to be here and see it firsthand and really understand um, what the people are going through and hear their stories personally because I, the emotion I felt watching it is nothing compared to this. And that's the main reason I wanted to come. Um, aloha. aloha. As uh, uh, chairman, let me just quickly echo the words of our esteemed leader, Irene Hirano Inoue, and, uh, and say thank you for all the support uh, you are providing to this wonderful, wonderful conference. I'm looking out here and I just can't believe this group. It's kind of contrary to a discussion I had and a speech I had to make about a week ago in San Francisco. 
As I entered the auditorium, there was only one person sitting there. And I gave a 20 minute address. And to my surprise, I got a standing ovation. And I leaned over the podium and I said, sir, I hope you learned something today. And I'm really happy you're here. He said, you think you've got a problem, I'm the next speaker. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy you're here. I uh, have the distinct honor of presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Paul Terasaki. And no, we are not related. Uh, and Paul has been engaged, as indicated, with our organization from its inception. He's provided guidance, advice throughout the evolution of this organization. Paul's an Issei, and he's chairman of the Terasaki Foundation and professor emeritus of surgery at UCLA. As a youth, he was incarcerated during World War II at Gila River internment camp in Arizona. After the war, he received his bachelor's, his master's, and his PhD from UCLA, and was a professor of surgery until 1999 when he retired. I just can't help myself. Go Bruins. Yeah, yeah thank you, thank you. In 1964, Paul would make medical history as a pioneer in the field of organ transplant medicine. He developed a microtoxicity test that evaluates donor and recipient tissue compatibility, which was adopted as the international standard for tissue typing. For the past 50 years, all kidney, heart, liver, pancreas, lung, and bone marrow donors and recipients were typed using this tissue typing test. Everyone, everyone in this room will someday benefit from the genius of Dr. Paul Terasaki. In 1984, he founded One Lambda, Inc., a company that supplied tissue typing and antibody detection reagents worldwide. His awards are many, 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 but I decided to at least inform you of three that are just unbelievable designations of how great this man is. Among the many includes the Order of the Sacred Treasurer from the Emperor of Japan, the Medawar Prize from the American Society of Clinical Pathologists, and the highest honor from his own university, the UCLA Medal. Dr. Paul Terasaki has been presented this Lifetime Achievement Award for his contributions to advancing Japanese-American and U.S.-Japan relationships, which include the establishment of the Nibe Foundation to encourage fellowship between researchers and physicians in Japan with other American counterparts, the establishment of the UCLA Terasaki Center for Japanese History, the sponsorship as indicated in the video of many educational trips to Japan for college-aged Japanese Americans, and the support to the US-Japan Council and a multitude of other Japanese NPOs. The late Daniel K. Inoue always visited Paul, always visited Paul when he came to LA because he knew he was exceptionally, exceptionally blessed as a research scientist, as a philanthropist, as a huge supporter of US-Japan relationships, as a visionary, and most importantly, as a valued, valued friend and hero to our respective communities. I cannot be more proud at, at this point to present the first Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Paul Terasaki. Oh. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, Tom, you know, was 
my link to the U.S. Japan Council for all these years. And uh, I can still remember that day in uh, 2008 when three of us met in my laboratory, uh, Irene and the senator and myself. And that was the start of this society. So from three people to all these people is really a, a great accomplishment, which uh, I would say mostly was done by Irene Hirano. She was the uh, driving force in this society, uh, first to decide what is the name, to decide who are going to be members, and what are we going to do. So all of these things uh, has uh, been uh, mainly done by Irene Hirano, and we owe a great debt of uh, gratitude for her. In addition, Senator Inoue was our first inspiration. He had the idea that we should do something like this. And from then, you can see that his influence has uh, carried forward even up to this day. So uh, first, I'd like to thank Irene for her great work for the U.S.-Japan Council. And then secondly, for the council for giving me this award. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Uncle Paul. <laughs> and thank you, Tom. By the way, I don't know if you know, but uh, Paul Terasaki's grandson and of course, Irene, our USC Trojans. <laughs> just, thought, just thought you know. <laughs> On a personal note, I can tell you that uh, Paul Terasaki practices what he preaches in private as well, because four years ago, he took 70 of our relatives, the Terasaki, the Katayama, the Sumioka clan, his wife's clan, and uh, took us to Japan, we spent a whole week at the Hotel Nuotani. And he told us, I want you to learn about the country of our ancestors the culture and the history. We even had lectures every day, <laughs> academic that he is, on kanji, I remember one of them being. And he said participation for the breakfast meeting for those lectures was mandatory. If you play hooky, you're paying your own way. <laughs> we had perfect attendance, <laughs> including my son who was three at the time, and I think Taiji Mio was probably about two at that time, if I remember correctly. But anyway, uh, thank you. Congratulations, uh, Dr. Terasaki, and uh, uh, thanks to your foundation also for supporting uh, today's luncheon.